In today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make custom liveries for F1 Manager 2024. With no F1 Manager 25 on the horizon, it looks as if we're gonna to have to take the game into our own hands and make custom liveries, helmets, and driver suits for our enjoyment. Let's get started. If you get stuck a little bit on the design phase in certain parts of the video, make sure to check out the other tutorial videos I have on F124 that will really help you understand a little bit better on certain aspects of how to create a design if you're not really feeling and you got a bit of a designer's block. Also in the description will be a link to my Patreon. Inside of here we have the F1 Manager 24 driver helmet as well as all 10 of the F1 teams including the my team car as well so if that's something you fancy you wanted to have a little look at later on you can have a look it includes other bits and bobs like my alpine spa livery from f1 manager 24 i will work on indiana jones at some point but not today in this video i will be using the f1 car models that is on the patreon just due to me making them myself and i'm familiar with how these work there are other 3d models out there for free to download i don't have a link as i don't need to use them and i've never used them but i'm pretty sure there are some out there this video, of course, is more showing you how to install and how to make the mod rather than the actual design process of creating a livery, for example. So we are going to need to download a few things. We're going to need to download WinRAR first and foremost. This could be one of the very first things that we're going to need to download to make sure we can actually do some file structure later on. The next thing you're going to need is to download and install Epic Games. And once you've done that, go to the Unreal Engine tab and make sure you download version 5.1.1. If you go into the library, at the top there's a plus icon which will give you other versions. You're going to need 5.1.1. And that's what you're going to need. You obviously can select it from this drop down. You can go all the way back to the 4s. But that's the version we're going to need for this due to that's what the game was made on. So first things first, guys. For Photoshop, you're going to need, ideally, the version 21.2.4. In other videos, I've had a lot of comments saying this isn't available. You can't get this. I promise you it is. You can get this. There's plenty of ways to figure out how to do this. It, the media is out there. Every time I make these kind of videos, I go and see if I can find it and download it and install it, and I can. So it's one of those things that you just have to kind of trust the process and figure out from that way. I can't distribute these for obvious reasons. You know, this is the best version of Photoshop to use. We're going to load up the folders for the cars that we're going to do. And I think for this video in particular, I think we're going to load up the Ferrari. Now, first things first with Photoshop, if you don't know if you've got the right version, it's going to work. If you can move this around, you're off to the races already now second thing if you can't move this around if it's just like a flat image the version you have will not work and it will not have this tab up here and the very top that says 3d so once you're here um if you are familiar with how these work you can obviously move the object around and stuff like that for example here you can obviously see we've, we've got enabled we've got the decals the numbers and the rims for today's video we're not gonna worry about the rims or the numbers we're gonna focus solely on the decals if you guys want me to make a video in the future about the numbers that is a whole a whole different thing genuinely i had such a nightmare with that originally so if you double click we can open up the decals and another good way to test if you've got the right version is like this as you can see you've got the wireframe which is perfect so that's good so for argument's sake obviously we want to make our own livery for this car so instead of wasting you know a, a crap ton of time building this i'm just going to quickly make a few adjustments on the car just to show you how it works come up with something like this so it's very simple i haven't changed much to be honest with it i've just added the um white on the hp engine cover and changed the little lines to like the italian flag so it kind of works quite well um so once you're happy with your design, I'm going to go on to the next step. So now the next crucial thing is on how to save this. Now there's a very specific way on how these need to be saved and how they need to be structured. So the best way of doing this in these videos, I will explain how to do them individually for certain aspects. So in this video, we're only worrying about the car. So this will only cover the livery aspects. Now on how to save these, there's a certain structure you're going to need to follow. So it's best to familiarize yourself with that. In the description below will be car structure. What you're going to do is download this to your desktop and export the folders to your desktop. Once you've done that, you can delete the RAR and open up the cars folder. So how this works, ultimately, is if we're doing the Ferrari, you're going to need to copy these exactly as they are. So because we're doing the Ferrari, we're going to use the Ferrari as the example. So what you're going to need to do is to paste the name in exactly as you see it here. So the easiest way of doing that is obviously going to rename it copying it and then saving your texture for this you're going to do as a tga for argument's sake we're just going to do it into the cars folder now and you're going to paste it like this once you've done that you're going to hit save and then 32 bits because we're going to want to do a spec map 
if you go into team cars go into ferrari and you can open this up now in our case if we were to overlay this with our changes to the livery nothing really needs changing in this at all which is amazing because in this case we don't actually need to make a change so let's say we did want to change this all you would do is make the necessary amendments this does come with a lot of play trying to figure out what does what what color means anything for the spec map however if you zoom in you can see there are subtle changes to this the green's roughly the same but by and large it is slightly different now so what we're going to need to do here is to just put these two on top of our spec map and then match the color so how we do that is we just go through and once again it's very subtle however it's just correctly enough that it will match the livery the other way to say these to make life a little bit easier for yourselves is if you go to what you want to override if you click on the name then change the file type that will then do the exact same thing for you and it makes it a little bit easier if you wanted to do it this way instead of renaming the file now in terms of the actual designing phase this bit's done let's move on to the slightly more complex side of this and start with unreal engine so as earlier like i said you're going to need to install unreal engine 5.11 so once you load it is going to take a very long time to run for the very first time and it's also going to take a very long time to actually do this mod for the very first time once you've done it a few times your pc will then be able to run a lot quicker so once again i'd like to thank tom because without him i wouldn't be in a position right now to be able to show you how to make these in this video i sat in a call with him for many many hours going through any issues i had any tech support i needed i struggled a lot with this because i had a tech issue where my pc just wasn't able to let me package which i'll come to at the end if you guys have any issues i can try and give you some slight fixes that may help you but ultimately there is a chance that you may run into a similar issue that i had where your pc just isn't capable of doing it and you're almost just closing and reopening and trying just to get it to work so once it has finally loaded what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new project so we're going to untick starter content because we don't want that we're going to name the project f1m001 make sure there's no space and you can change this to documents if you want we're going to create a new folder on our desktop called f1 manager mods to make life a little bit easier for ourselves we're going to click create and while it's doing that if you want just move these other two things into here that way you've only got one folder on your desktop rather than having god knows how many so now we are in here there's a few things we're going to need to do first things first down here is your content drawer this is what's going to be really crucial for when we start importing folders files and cars but before we do that we've got a few things we need to adjust in this first so in unreal but compared to last game it does things slightly differently rather than just the u asset file and then using a different program to package it this time you pack it inside of unreal to enable some of the settings we need to go to edit editor preferences now you can scroll up and look for these the easiest way of doing it i find is just to search so if you type in allow we're going to need to allow chunk id assignment Make sure that's ticked to true then we can close this now into project settings once again search to make your life a little bit easier type in use pack file make sure that that is also ticked and then also type in io to make sure that use uio store is on is generate chunks make sure that is also turned on that's quite crucial for this whole process and the next thing in build configure make sure you change that to shipping and then the last thing we're going to do if you type in cook in packaging advance is the second one cook everything in this project content directory make sure that is ticked now you're good to go the step by step is also in the description below if you wanted to do it purely off text so now here's the fun part if you go to content draw this is where we need to start importing things now i'm going to do this a really simple way there's obviously a few different ways to do it is to familiarize yourself with what you need to put in here so i'm going to drag this to the half screen and make sure we got half and half to make life a little bit easier so you're going to need to create a few folders these have to be exactly correct or they will not work if the mod isn't working it's due to the file structure being incorrect so here's what we're going to do we're going to right click new folder and we're going to start with cars the one you see here so capital c a r s and then we're going to keep going all the way until we get to the textures folder. So that means team cars, capital for first of each of the letters. So capital T, capital C. New folder again, team cars, but this time it's 2024 at the end, which I never really understood, but it makes sense considering I'm pretty sure the 2023 cars are also in this game. Obviously Ferrari. And then now the next folder will be textures. There is a way to speed up building these uh, folder structures, but I think 
for argument's sake, it's easy just to do it this way. So then what you do now, you would then drag and drop your modded files into here. So once they're in, you will, it will have it like this. So you've got the base livery and the mask, or in this case, the spec map. Perfect. So now what you're going to want to do, select both of these, so they're selected. You're going to want to right click asset actions assign chunk so what we can do is we can assign this chunk the chunks determine the priorities right of how these are layered so in an ideal world you'd have liveries at chunk five helmets at chunk six race suits at chunk seven the reason for that is because the base game stops at four when you go into the game files and explore the packs it stops at four so we're going to assign this to chunk five down here it will say unsaved in the bottom right hand corner of unreal engine you want to open that and click save selected and this means that the chunks were assigned to them if you want to double check this if you right click asset actions remove from chunk it will then say chunk five if you're doing a lot of different things like in my case when i had 10 liveries numbers helmets everything going on sometimes i split these up liveries in one helmets in another and sometimes there were some that weren't working just because i didn't assign them the chunk because it was easy to miss at the top of platforms you're going to want to scroll down to windows and then you've got package project so if you come up with this error sdk not set up no problem if you do have this issue not to fear in the description below will be where you download the windows sdk just download the installer install it as normal and we're going to need to close out of unreal engine so make sure you save it in the top left save the project and then when you can reopen Unreal Engine once it's installed. So once you've done that, you're gonna go platform, windows, package project again. This time you're going to want to save it in a location. It does generate quite a lot of files for you. So if you create a new mods folder, and in this case, we're gonna call it the Ferrari livery mock. If you select that folder, it will start to do its stuff in the background. This will take a long time. I'm not gonna to lie to you. It can take upwards of 10 minutes for the very first time you do it. If you have time to go make a cup of tea. It will make a noise once it's done. So. I'm going to go make a cup of tea and I'll be back once it's finished. So finally, it took me around about 20 minutes. I'm not going to lie. That took a very long time. If we open up the folder, you can see we've got a Windows, an FM001, which is our project file, content, packs. If you're at this stage and you have these files, it means it's worked, which is great. So you're going to want to navigate to where your packs are. So open up your F1 Manager 24 game. Hit F1 Manager 24, content, then packs. Now this is where all the packs are stored. As I said earlier, it goes up to pack chunk four. If we now head to the location where our modded files are, depending on where you save them, again, I obviously saved them in this folder there for F1 livery mock. So you can see we've got six files in here, really. We're going to take the bottom three. We ignore the ones above it. We're going to copy and paste this into our packs folder. To get these to work in game, we also need to rename them slightly. So select all three of them. You're going to right click and rename. And then at the end of Windows, do underscore capital P. That will then assign it to all of them. This will make it work in game. And now let's go have a look at it in game, shall we? See how it looks. And as you can see, not bad. I mean, I did rush the design, so there's a few issues with the actual design. But as far as getting it in-game goes, absolutely spot on. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please slap a like on it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any issues or questions in the comment below, let me know and I'll try and get to you as soon as I possibly can. Let me know if you want to see any other tutorials relating to this game. I think with the new lease of life that's been given by the developers, I've got a feeling it might be popular again. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.